Okay, fight fans, welcome back to Fight Week Roundup for the week of the 23rd of July, 2014. I, of course, am Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. So, before I get started with what we can watch this week, I just want to bring up um, Victory Muay Thai 6 is putting on an event at Club Soda August 23rd in Montreal. So, if you don't know what to do with yourself the 23rd, well, there's your answer. So, if I skip ahead to Friday night, Friday on Spike at 7 p.m., you got Bellator 122 going on. Also, we got ESPN Friday Night Fights, uh, Garcia versus Prescott. I want to mention a little asterisk in there. Uh, you got a kid named Caleb Truex fighting, so if you get a chance, check him out. Now, on the Fight Network, we've got Golden Boys Friday Night Fights, uh, Gomez versus Paris. So... Now that leads us to Saturday. Again on the Fight Network, live at 4 p.m. from Manchester, England, you got the Tyson Fury Chirosa card. Now, uh, Chirosa actually hurt his hands, so that fight might not go down. Hopefully, the Fight Network still gets us the undercard. That being said, I am confident a shirtless Shannon Briggs is coming off a plane somewhere, and Tyson Fury might just get the fight. Um, that being said, if you keep it on the Fight Network, or if you're going to DVR stuff later on, here's a suggestion. 7 p.m. Infusion Kickboxing. Again, on the Fight Network. It's called Island Reunion 26. If you've never watched any of the Infusion Kickboxings, well, do yourself a favor. Trust me, remember that I'm the one that told you. Now, I've gotten all the little stuff out of the way. It's time to get to the main course, the meat and the potatoes. People, we've got great testosterone-filled fighting going on, and I'm sorry for using testosterone for the lady fighters out there, but eh, there's no better term. HBO, championship boxing, you got a WBA, WBO title on the line. Now, before I get uh, to the main card of that fight, I just want to bring up on the undercard, there's a very interesting fight. Now, hopefully our heavyweight champion, Mr. Stavern, listens, or at least knows that a young man named Bryant Bye Bye Jennings is fighting another young man named Mike Perez. Now, Mike Perez is 20-0 with 12 KOs. Bryant Bye Bye Jennings is 18-0 with 10 KOs. Now, um, I commend them both for uh, putting their undefeated records on the line. There's a lot of fighters out there that don't do it. So, um... Good on them, and uh, hopefully they'll give us a great fight, and hopefully they both have a future. Um, that being said, the main dish of that night, Glenadine Glavonkin, the Triple G. Not Rick Ross, the Triple G, versus Daniel Gill. Now, uh, Daniel Gill has fought in some notables in England and Australia, um, maybe most notably someone like Felix Strum, or even uh, the locally famous Ian McKillop. However... Daniel Gill is a so-so fighter, and you don't want to be a so-so fighter against the Triple G. Um, if you don't know who Glenadine Glavonkin is, basically he is the Disney prince of boxing. If you get a chance, go look at him. He's what Siberians would characterize as a killer. So, um, if that's not good enough for you, free again. Fox Sports 1. You got UFC Fight Night 12 going on at 7 p.m. Now, there's a whole, like, 12, 15 fights going on. I'm just going to give you the top three, and that should give you enough. So, Clay the Carpenter Guida versus Dennis the Menace Bermudez. Now, that's essentially um, two spinning tops that are going to collide into each other. There's something's going to happen, is basically my point. Both guys are fast, both guys are high-paced, both guys go for finishes, both guys... It's going to be a hell of a fight. Now, that being said, there's also a legend fighting. Antonio Minotaura Nigera is fighting Anthony Rumble Johnson. Now, Rumble Johnson's back in the outfit, and uh, he seems to be doing better at this weight category. And Antonio Minotauro is getting older. However, Minotauro has been known to put people to sleep. And so's Rumble Johnson. So uh, check out that fight if you want to see someone go dodo. Uh, that being said, the main event. The main event is basically an Old Spice commercial wrapped up in the Dosik Ski Guy. Um, 
You got Travis the Immortal Brown versus Ruthless Robbie Lawler. Now, you're like, wait a minute, Lawler just fought. Yep. This kid, less than six months ago, fought Hendricks in a very tough, close fight for the belt. Then fought this other dude who I can't remember at this very moment. And now is taking on Matt the Immortal Brown. Now, the stones on this guy for doing all that. Eh. However, Matt Immortal Brown's on a tear. And the guy's just oozing machismo. This is going to be a hell of a fight. Both guys are ready to go like 12 rounds. Uh, it's going to be a three-round affair. I don't think somebody... One man's going to walk out of there change. Do you understand? And um, mostly because he's going to have the number one title shot. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, get to check this all out. Share, follow, like, spread it on. Punch it into your friend's phone. Pass it along. Check me out on Twitter. I'm Manny MTL. Have a good week, guys.